We're going. This is Switzerland. This is Switzerland. Off we go. Off we go. Just did our 8 a.m. yoga. And now we're on the way. a lot of adrenaline before. And now we go. We're going to Switzerland. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. We're here and you need to see this. Wow. Kinta. Switzerland, you win. <laughs> You're too beautiful. <laughs> Viva pedal ball. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> That's it right there. That's what we did. <laughs> yeah, <it's documented>. Post Christmas shopping, lunch. <laughs> Thank you. 
So what's the story with this church? You can read it there. <laughs> okay, yeah, so this whole area that you see there, it used to be a village once. And then really rude people decided to flood this village. And all the people had to leave. And what is left, what you can still see today, is this tower of the church. Dum, dum, dum. Dum, dum, dum. They but basically just decided they wanted to build a lake. Yeah, but I don't know why. Like, why would you? It's really the big. Whole village. Yeah. Suspicious. Old village. Like, why can't they build the lake where there's not a town? Yeah, I don't know. Because this is the bottom of the valley. So uh. they cannot build a lake on top of the mountain. <laughs> so, mm. yeah. Valid. You can go kite surfing here and. I don't know more about this in the lake. <laughs> cool. Interesting. Fascinating. Beautiful. Yeah. Weird. Love it. What is she getting? Yes. 
Vad ska jag ta? Vad ska jag ta? Vad ska jag ta? Traubensaft. Grape juice? Yes. Isn't this wine? <laughs> Grape juice or wine? What do we call it? I think this is alcohol. <laughs> So, little travel update. Today is December, somehow, December 22nd, 2022. One, two, 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 two. <laughs> Just had to say that. So, basically, there is a huge cold front going on in the States. And I got the text, your flight has been canceled. Then I got to Munich and they're like, you can't rebook on any other flight right now. There were no other flights going out to the US for the rest of the day. I ended up having to just wait it out because my friend Caitlin is helping me fly standby. Shout out Caitlin. And it's way cheaper. And you just have to roll with the punches of, you know, checking if the flight is full, whatnot. So basically all the flights were full in Munich for tomorrow too. And so she was like, you should go to Frankfurt. And so hence I took a train from Munich to Frankfurt, four hour train ride. Um, after sitting in the airport basically waiting for the time to go by because obviously it was like, it was three freaking AM when this was all happening for Caitlin. So I had to wait till the morning when she would wake up and text me. Anyways, all that to say is she was like, girl, you better go to Frankfurt. So that is why I am here at a Best Western in Frankfurt. It's been a long day of doing, like just waiting and traveling and trying to figure out my plan, but um, I'm really sad to leave Europe. The hardest part of my day was probably carrying out my suitcase when there was no elevator and the escalator was broken. A few travel tips, things that I've learned. There's always things you learn when you travel. One is go with the flow. You have to go with the flow. You can't get too upset when things don't go your way because reality is when things don't seem to be going your way, they actually are going your way. You just don't realize it yet. Two, always carry with you a weight holder thing. If you don't have one, you don't know how much your suitcase weighs and you don't want to be stuck with any fines. This hasn't happened to me, but this, the hotel just lent this to me. Do that because my suitcase is definitely over 50 pounds right now. It said basically you have to pay $200 <laughs> if your suitcase is over uh, 50 pounds. Three is, yeah, on the suitcase note, don't pack so much. I packed three purses. Like you don't need that, Nelly. I realize I love to have options, but the more things, the more problems. Let me tell you, like it's just too much to carry. It's heavy, it's annoying. It's intense to push it all around. Like I brought my whole mic set up and I didn't even use it. I thought I was going to. And I mean, I wouldn't have left it and I don't really have regrets, but I mean, I guess if I had known I wouldn't need it, then I wouldn't have brought it. Yeah, if you're going to Europe for an extended period of time, period of time, there's definitely cheaper ways you can buy train tickets instead of just buying single ones every time. I didn't realize how much I would be using the train. So I feel like I probably could have saved by getting some sort of like pass. I just didn't think that I would be using these men this many trains, but I guess I could have calculated it. So, you know, when you travel, it's just, you just learn by experience. You just have to go with the flow and realize it's always a self experience. You just can't get too mad about anything. Nothing's really like that wrong. You know, like nothing's ever really, really that bad. My flight got canceled. Okay, yeah, that sucks. But like in reality, like I'm safe, I'm healthy. Like I can afford luckily a hotel and a train ticket and food and water and all my basic needs to get me from A to B. And that's incredible. You know, there's way worse things that could have happened. Even just saying that right now makes me feel better. Wow, I can't believe though it's gonna be the last, this is my last night. And I'm in Germany, I'm in Frankfurt. And this is like, 
Like, I flew into Frankfurt, so it's kind of funny that I'm back here. Like, it's like very full circle. Okay, this is very nostalgic now, and this turned into a much longer video than I intended. Um, okay, I'm gonna go to bed, and I'm just glad that I have this little vlog to keep track of everything that I'm experiencing. Okay, good night.